Hello and welcome to this tutorial. We're going to take a look at how we go about configuring an IP address on an interface on a router. Now, why do we want to know how to do this? Quite simply, in order for a router interface to send and receive traffic, it needs an IP address. So this is a requirement. It's a mandatory configuration process in order to make the interface work. Now, the good news is this is a pretty simple process, and it won't take very long. There's even more good news, and that's it's the same process whether you're working on a serial interface or an Ethernet interface. So the same way to do it on both types of interfaces. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump on a router and get started. Okay, so here we are at the router command line, and let's begin by taking a look at all of our interfaces. So I'll issue the show IP interface brief command, and here we see everything. We're going to go ahead and focus on serial 00, which you can see in the second column does not have an IP address assigned to it. Now, so far, the interface looks good in terms of its status codes because they're both up, up. We can also go ahead and take a look at the interface itself. Show interface serial 00. zero. And now we have the detailed output. Normally, you would see the IP address towards the top of the output. Here, we see nothing. So again, we're just confirming there is no IP address. Just two ways you can go about doing this. You can also look at the running configuration as well. Show run interface serial 00. zero. And here is the uh, full configuration for serial 00. zero. You can see we have a description configured and no IP address. All right, well, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we do is jump into configuration mode. And we start off, as always, in global configuration mode. When you want to make a change to an interface, you need to jump into that specific interface configuration mode. We do that by typing the command interface and then the actual interface we want. So here, serial 00. Now, we only need to issue one command. And that command is IP address. And then if I question mark to show you the first set of parameters, the one we're interested in is a top one, IP address. So I happen to know the IP address I want to use here, 172.16.1.1. And I'll show you the next parameter. There's only one option here, and that's the IP subnet mask. So I will enter that as well. Now, this is a .252, which means it's a slash 30. It gives us two available IP addresses in this subnet block because this is a point-to-point -point link, and I only, knew, I only need two IP addresses. And so that's it. That's the command. We go ahead and enter that. And now let's jump out of configuration mode, and let's reissue some of the commands we looked at in the beginning. So now we can see serial 00 has an IP address configured. We see that in the second column. And if we chose to look at the other output, show interface serial 00, you can see now, right below the interface description, we have internet address is, and it lists it for you in the slash notation. Finally, if you wanted, you can go ahead and take a look at the running configuration, so show run interface serial 00, and now you can see our command line that we entered, the IP address configuration command, is now in that interface configuration. Okay, so to summarize what we covered, we now know that an IP address is required on a router interface if you want to be able to send and receive traffic on that interface. And in order to apply an IP address, we go into interface configuration mode, and we type the command IP address, we state the IP address and the subnet mask that we want to use. By the way, if you're ever looking to remove an IP address, all you do is issue the no in front of this command, and that will go ahead and remove an IP address from an interface. So for instance, no IP address issued in, in interface configuration mode would remove an IP address. Finally, we took a look at some verification commands to see what IP addresses are configured, the show IP interface brief, and the show interface command. And keep in mind, we also looked at the running configuration. Okay, so that's it. That is how we go about configuring an IP address on a router interface. 
Thanks for watching.